We are back to the Tahoe Today Show. Really interesting guest. Only two weeks in the making, Tyler, from Sierra Snow Kite Center out in the Sugar Bowl area, Donner area. Where would you describe there, where it's at? How would you describe it? So we have 250 acres up on the Lake Van Norden Meadow on Donner Summit. Um, pretty much the base of Sugar Bowl is kind of right mm -hmm. where we're operating out of there. Awesome. And so Sugar Bowl just recently teamed up with the Royal Gorge and yourself to create the Snow Kite Center. Yeah. What we, made you start this? Um, well, we kind of have a trifecta up there. They wanted to bring in something new, snow kiting, which is new to the whole Tahoe area. Yeah. Um, and then they also have now Royal Gorge. So, you know, you kind of get the cross country skiing, downhill skiing, and now snow kiting. Yeah, that's yeah. quite the trifecta. Yeah. And explain to people what snow kiting is. You were saying during the break, it's like wakeboarding behind a boat or behind a helicopter and you can decide where you want to go. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's so th three dimensional. You know, we use kites to pull us either across meadows, you know, rolling terrain or uphill. You know, we can get up a hill faster than you can, you know, on a high speed uh, chairlift. So yeah, what, pretty... what's the average speed? Uh, I mean, obviously it's dependent on winds, but what do you what are you normally pushing out there? I mean, whatever you want to do, you know, it's you have full control over it. So if you want to just go for a nice power ride, you know, getting turns, you can do that. Or I guess if you're trying to beat the, the speed record, you can you can go as fast as you pretty much want to go. What is the speed record? You know, I have no idea on a kite, but Man, <laughs> it's probably can... probably up there. You yeah, know, 60, <laughs> and 70 miles. You mentioned you can be you can do this in pow too. I didn't I wouldn't think that you can do this in powder conditions. Yeah, that's the whole idea. You know, yeah, more okay. power turns, you know, less chair rides and yeah. Nice. More and so shots. um how can people get involved in this and what, what are the, some of the qualifications? I mean, you can't, can you just say, come in, be an average skier and say, hey, I want to try snow kiting? Definitely. I mean, it's an enhancement sport. So our, our model basically gets people that have, you know, a beginner to intermediate ski level, snowboard level, and we can get you out there kiting in three hours on your own, going back and forth. So it's, it's a three super hours? steep learning curve. Yeah. And you'll be out having fun. And learning from the North American <laughs> snow kite champion himself. Do you, yeah, you do the lessons as well? I do. Yeah, nice. I have um, a team, um, but I'm also out there teaching right alongside everybody else. Yeah. yeah. Tell us about that tour and how, how that went. Give us a little background on so that. So snow kite has been gaining popularity throughout the U.S. Um, and now there's a tour, a North American snow kite tour that travels around through all kind of like your big mountain towns. Um, you know, Summit County, Colorado, Jackson Hole, uh, Park City area, um, Southern Utah, Idaho. Um, so we kind of travel around and compete in both freestyle and racing. And soon to be Tahoe, hopefully. Soon Make to be that Tahoe. one of the stops. Exactly. And once you guys start blowing it up and getting a lot, getting some pictures out there in Tahoe, that's going to be awesome. What's the cost? If you want to go out there as an average skier and say, okay, I want to get started in three hours, get the lesson, everything, what does that cost? Definitely. We, uh, we offer a variety of lesson packages, everything starting around $60 um, to come out and fly a kite. And, you know, kind of take it to whatever level you want to. Um, contrary to like what most people think of, it's this total separate sport that you're getting into and you have to, you know, have the, like all this separate gear, you know, it's not really that. It's kind of an enhancement sport that you, you know, purchase a kite that can range, you know, anywhere from 500 all the way up to $1,500, whatever you kind of want to get into. Um, and then you just have it alongside your skis and your snowboard and then the summer alongside your wakeboard and you now have two new sports that you can take part in. You know? <laughs> Talk about some of the gear. And it, you, so you're saying it's universal, so you could take it out on the lake yeah. with your board and then have it for the winter as well. Talk about some of that gear and for someone that can't really visualize what this is and totally. how it works. So we use kites, obviously big kites, um, ranging from seven meters up to 17 meters. And um, we use that in conjunction with a harness that we wear. Um, so it's not super tough on your arms, you know, you're basically just telling it where to go with your arms, you know, and then your basic skis or snowboard that you'd ride on the hill. So you're getting a whole body workout. Talk about a core workout. You got yeah. something, you got mother nature pulling on your torso, literally, yeah. and Definitely. you're hauling, hauling down. The, <laughs> I almost did it. Uh, you're not going to get me FC. See, <laughs> what, what else do you offer out there at the Sierra Snow Kite Center? Um, for people that already know how to kiteboard and are way into the sport, the, the whole snow side of it up, you know, in Tahoe and California is very new. So we offer like water transition lessons. So we'll Ooh. teach you how to bring it to the snow, super safe, super quick within an hour. And we'll, we'll get you out there, you know, making it look like you, you've been a seasoned veteran. 
Nice. Give us a, where, how can people get more information? You guys, are you guys going to be open today? I mean, you, th that's the beauty about your sport. We yeah. were talking during the break is a season like last season isn't necessarily going to shut you guys down or, or impact you that much because you don't need, you just need just a little bit of coverage, some ground coverage, right? Definitely. Yeah. And although we could be open, we're waiting to do a grand opening with Royal Gorge and Sugar Bowl. Um, Sugar Bowl is now open right now, so you can come up and ski. Um, but we're going to hold off. We're probably going to be open Thursday for Thanksgiving, um, but you know that's yet to be determined by Mother Nature. So yeah, yeah. we're not uh, expecting too much snow. It's going to be some pretty nice weather. So definitely. give people uh, the overview information where they can get more. So yeah. Sierra Snow Kite Center. Either find us on Facebook or online at uh, sierrasnowkitecenter.com. Um, I'm sure you can get in touch with us through Tahoe TV as well. Um, but come see us. All right, there Thanks you have man. it. That's going to do it for this edition of Tahoe Today. Thanks, Tyler, for coming in. Thank, Thank you, Kat, for doing the road conditions. And Nick Rogers back there handling business as always.